Welcome back, guys. It's Edogs82 here. I'm back, and we're going to be playing some more of Lun Gold Caribbean today. Let's see where we left off. If I remember correctly, we were getting into a few brawls with native tribesmen, various pirate groups. You know, we were doing pretty good for ourselves, and I think when we finished off, we had some desperados coming after us. So that should be interesting. We'll see how we can deal with them. Hopefully they don't prove too tough to handle. But we'll see. Anyways, as soon as this game loads up, <laughs> we'll get straight into it. Here we go. The soundtrack for this game is always so intense. Jungle fighters. These guys typically are strong. And they actually have more guys than I have. But I think we can do this. Yeah. We'll give it a go, we'll try. I'm the only one on a horse. Man, my character looks so goofy. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Where are they? I don't see these guys anywhere. What the hell? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Got one. Damn, I missed. Oh, I got hit. Oh, I nearly shot that guy right in the face. Cut him up. Oh, we're getting wrecked. Got him. Things are going good for us right now. We're starting to overpower them in numbers wise. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Ah, uh, yes, we got another one. Oh, I'm gonna get this guy up on the hill. Oh, I got shot. Get back. I don't want none of your business. Sell your Girl Scout cookies somewhere else. Come to the wrong neighborhood, fool. All right, we won. Huzzah. All right, we lost seven of our comrades. Ah. Prisoners, huh? Oh, we got some new gear to sell because it's all crap. And that just about filled up our backpack. Hmm. Alrighty. Our guys have leveled up. Let's turn you into an English Renegade to see the difference. Okay, so English Renegades are definitely better than Dutch, but only just. Uh, let's turn you into a Buccaneer Musketeer. Buccaneer Reavers, because you have no choice. French Renegades, Jose de Alba got knocked out, damn. Okay, how we doing? We're getting close to level 4. Can we wear this yet? No, damn. Oh, I need two, two more strength points to wear that armor? Hey. Alright, let's save this up. 
No, no, don't go to Fort St. Louis, go to Trinity Bay. <laughs> Man, we got a beating down on our ass there. Alright, let's go to C. Um, I say let's make for... Andros Island. Hopefully our passage should be clear and safe. Ooh, that's a lot of courses. Don't catch me, don't catch me. Go into the market and sell all this crap that I picked up along the way. And we're bringing in a pretty good profit from all of that. Nice! Let's head back and Go take a look in the tavern, see if there's a slave trader here. Yeah. There isn't. Damn. I'm going to have to hold on to those prisoners that I have for now. Um, let's see what we can do here. We only have one fish. Just one. And fish tends to be the cheapest option on the high seas at the moment, where I am. Let's get us a f all their fish. <laughs> sure, we'll do that. Um, any warriors for me to... No? Okay. Fort. Hmm. Apparently we can't join those people just yet. Let's put to sea and sail over to the Grand Bahamas and see what we can pick up over there. Alrighty, into the tavern we go. Damn, no slave traders. How about extra men? Ah, perfect. We've got mercenaries. I'll take all of you. Put to see. What's our party looking like? 76 out of 77. Okay, we can pick up one more man. Let's try NASA. Well, that convoy just got taken. Actually, I might go help that guy take the convoy and steal it out from underneath him, which would be really funny. Because, you know, I'm a pirate. <laughs> I'm a dirty, rotten chink. Yep, there's still no slave traders around this place. Um, let's check out the shipwright real quick. Alright, everything's looking tip-top shape. It's the best. Yeah, this place is totally maxed out. There's nothing more we can do here unless we go into the expensive stuff. Let's go nick this convoy out from underneath the Spanish well, oh, this Spanish convoy out from underneath our pirate comrades. Engage the enemy! So, the Spanish have a light galleon. There is absolutely no way that I could take this thing down 
just by sinking it. And I don't want to sink it anyways. I actually want to board this light galleon and take her as my own. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to come up alongside, broadside this guy with great shot and board. Whoa, hey, you nearly got me. You're yeah, going to try and board this guy and take his ship out from underneath him and all of his goods. <laughs> What's good, Spanish? Oh, you got the goods? I think I'll have them. Man, our pirate brethren are really smoking them with cannon fire. Alright, let's close in for the boarding kill. Let's go get him. Hopefully this levels us up. Oh, friendly fire dude! Hopefully this levels me up enough that I can use my infantry breastplate. Jeez! Watch your lanes of fire, dude! Let's lead my boarding crew from the thick of the action. Oh, they only have nine guys left and we have 72. This is too brilliant. Climb! We're gonna invade their ship. Yeah! I'm gonna cut you up. Haha, <laughs> you're dead. You're dead. Oh, you will be. <laughs> oh, a merchant guy just got murked. Whoa! Sneaky dude. Spanish colonial guard. A lot of good that did you. We win! Yeah! This ship is ours. We lost no one in our boarding party except for three sailors, which are easily replaced. Oh my goodness. Check this out. 13 jewelry up in here. And that tobacco and rum. We don't need this fish. Make the captured vessel your flagship. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's right, I'm a pirate. Let's upgrade my men real quick. Alright, cool thing about this is we can rename our ship first. Dogs. Um, cool thing about this is we can actually assign a captain to my brigantine, which is Jose de Alba, and he's actually good. Like, he's a decent captain, so that'll be awesome for us. We're just going to quickly go over to the Wailing Islands and get refitted and sell all of that great gear. Oh, I can repair my ship? Nah. Add sailors? No way. Alright, let's sell that hat. And let's go to town on this thing. Oh, I should have bought, <laughs> picked up more rum than tobacco. Oh well, we're making a massive profit. Oh my goodness.
Oh my goodness, the salted fish costs so much. Hey, we have fish. How? Okay, we'll buy a few more fish. We're still making a massive profit. There's no mercenaries available. Let's see if there's a slave trader or companions. And we have neither. That's awesome. Let's put... Ah, uh, no, let's go to the shipwright and sell our old ship. Let's repair the dogs. Get them all fitted out. And then let's sell... You. Still called the Winchester. That's funny, but I'm um, gonna have to rename that. Um, let's check out the cannons. Let's pop those culverines on. That was a good chunk of our money, but it will be worth it once we start devastating enemy ships. And finally, yes, we could do this. We just fully outfitted everything. We still have money to play with. Nice. Let's uh, go back into this and rename it. The dogs. Rename. Awesome, and because of my Fleet Master abilities, I don't actually have any penalties using the ship. That's sick. Yes, I love Rob. Oh, damn, I need one more level to get enough strength. Come on, man. Let's upgrade the gambling and see if we can <laughs> be a good pirate. <laughs> Let's, uh... Upgrade my two-handed weapons, and let's go back to NASA and see if we can do a little gambling, eh? <laughs> So this is a cool new feature of Blood and Gold Caribbean that wasn't in the original Caribbean game. And I think it's pretty awesome. So, oh, look at this. we got a slave trade now. So we're going to give it a go and show you guys what it's like. But first, we'll get a little bit more dosh to play with. And talk to Jose Godillo about him. Why, hello, mister. Suppose you want to play. That's too bad, because I don't play with strangers. Can you suggest someone to play with? Look for Alan Hattori. He's desperate enough to play with just about anyone. Anything else? I guess I should leave now. Well, where is this Alan fella? Hmm. Hmm. Jose Gordillo bets 1,000 piastres. He's sitting at the table right here beside you. Jose, a combat grant in the army, accepts bets up to 100 piastres. Enrique Sanchez at White Wings Island accepts bets up to 100 piastres, and Trevor Foster at Crooked Island accepts bets up to 1,000 piastres. Thanks for the information, buddy. Yes, I should leave you right now. Uh, where is that man that he told me about? Are you in the tavern?
Mm. Let's go upstairs for a minute and talk to the him. <laughs> See if he can tell us anything. Procura. You're totally a pimp, man. Hello there, sailor. Looking for some fun time. <laughs> hey, what have you got? Why are all me goods are standing right beside? Take whichever you like most. Then all be 200 piastres a session. <laughs> Two hundred? Um, some other time, maybe. Yeah, I'm not down for that. I don't need to go slumming up no prostitutes. What the? What the hell? A whip. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> They have a whip in this tavern. <laughs> oh no. Well, it seems like at this present time I don't think I'll be able to gamble with anyone. But I'll ask this guy again. He's just telling me the same thing. <laughs> Holy crap, a whip. What is wrong with this tavern? Well, guys, I guess we'll have to come back later, you know? We've been successful so far. We've uh, captured ourselves a light galleon and made a load of money. We've still got 7,100 piastres in my pocket, and we easily can pay for our upkeep. This is just going so well. But um, next time, I'll be able to level up pretty soon to level 5. I'll be able to equip that infantry armor, which will be a massive upgrade. Taking hits like I've taken before probably won't happen so easily. And my stats will go up massively. This will be so good. But, anyways guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you will stick around for the rest of this Let's Play that I will continue to upload daily from Monday through Saturday. And my name has been edogs 82 And I hope you've been enjoying this let's play you know? because I definitely have I love being a pirate I love being that <laughs> underhanded guy I even managed to nick <laughs> the light galleon from my own teammate as you can tell I really love that but I hope you guys have enjoyed and my, no my name is edogs82 I'm signing out I'll see you guys later